In this video, we're going to look at a technique or a workflow that you can utilize whenever you are sculpting in surface mode and want to switch to voxel mode without disturbing your sculpt layers or any dynamic tessellation you may have applied using live clay or other related tools. What I have here is a voxel object, which is a duplicate of this surface mesh, but after creating the duplicate, I switched to voxel mode, gave it the appropriate resolution when I switched. And after doing some work, I now want to reproject the edits I made in voxel mode back to this surface mesh. Now what I want to do is use the reproject tool that's in the adjust section right here. You can also access it from the spacebar menu in the adjust section here. If you need to make any adjustments in the tool options panel, you could go ahead and do so before you begin. If you want to do it to the entire model in one fell swoop, you can click make reprojection. But in this instance, I want to use a brush. And I don't really have to make any adjustments outside of the default value. So I'll just go ahead and start brushing. I want to make sure I'm on the surface layer. And I can just brush only in the areas where I made those changes. And if you should have some trouble spots, remember you're in surface mode, so you can use things like the relax brush from the shift menu or the control shift menu. And this will allow you to relax the mesh. And then once you are finished holding down the shift key, you can just resume brushing with the reproject tool. And I'll go ahead and turn the wireframe off. You can adjust the smoothing degree if you want. And I may want to do that here as well. I'm going to hide the eye, work in this region. When you're done, we can hide the voxel object and we can then hide and unhide the layer that it stored all that projection work on. Yeah, that's the way you would preserve the mesh in its current state, yet project any edits you might make in voxel mode back onto the original. Okay, so thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.